Digitimes, the Taiwanese industry publication, which is historically known around the world for having the same level of accuracy as a coin toss, reports that mass production has begun on the MacBook Pros with M4 Pro and M4 Max chips. So is it legit, and when will we be able to get our sweaty little hands on these new toys? I love this time of year. New iPhones, new Apple Watches, new Macs, people actually watching tech videos. It's a joy, I tell you. And honestly, I was skeptical when I read the source of this story. Back in the days when Apple Track, you know, tracked Apple rumor sources, Digitimes was a bit of a joke. But Mark Gurman said earlier this year that he expects these Macs to arrive by the end of the year, and Ross Displayman Young, who was the highest rated source on Sam Cole's Apple Track, has also claimed that the displays for these MacBook Pros are also on the way to the factories. I think the only thing he ever got wrong was a product name. On displays, he has never failed us. So last year we got our iPhone event on September the 12th, then we got the Mac event, Scary Fast at 5 p.m. on October the 30th, with a Halloween theme, appropriate as it was in the UK, because it was at midnight when Halloween had just begun. The iPhone event this year is on September the 9th, with them shipping around September 20th, so give it a couple of weeks for the excitement to die down and the invites to go out, and we could see a Mac event around the 14th or the 15th of October this year or in the couple of weeks afterwards up until around the 29th of October. But that would be pretty mean, just like passing this part of the video without hitting the subscribe button. I promise I'll make it worthwhile for you. The MacBook Pros with M4 Pro and M4 Max aren't expected to get any major changes beyond the chips themselves and potentially Wi-Fi 7 support, which would supercharge AirDrop with this year's iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max. Now the M4 itself is looking to be a solid 25% faster on CPU performance over the M3, based on the iPad Pro that we already got, and the higher spec chips will use the exact same core designs. In fact, it could be even faster in an actively cooled chassis. Is it worth upgrading your M3 Pro or M3 Max MacBook Pro to the M4? Probably not. Is it worth considering if you're running an M1 or an M1 Pro or Max? Maybe. Definitely worth a look. And the older Apple Silicon models will still resell for a decent price to offset your new favourite device. Now at the same event we could be seeing the M4 versions of the iMac, the MacBook Pro 14 inch and a redesigned Mac Mini in a tiny little box with the footprint that rivals the Apple TV. And I'm here for it all. And of course if we haven't seen the updated iPad Mini, maybe with M2 and possibly iPad 11th gen before then at the iPhone event, we could be seeing them make an appearance here too. Although I'd hope we'll see them in September. Makes way more sense. There's also a chance we get AirPods Max too, though everything has gone eerily quiet on that front just recently. And given that we're not expecting all of the Apple intelligence features to launch with the iPhone in September, and that most of those will also be featuring on the Mac, it may well be that Apple uses the October event to launch their AI features fully, bringing a lot of new iPhone buyers to watch the event, which is essentially a big old ad for the Mac and how brilliant your new iPhone will work with one. And if that's not a genius idea, I don't know what is. Perfectly timed for the run up to Christmas too. So across both events, we will be getting four new iPhones, two to three new Apple Watches, because we might get an SE, two to three new AirPods models, because we might get the Macs, a new iMac with M4, three new MacBook Pros, a redesigned Mac Mini, and one or possibly two new iPads all in the next two months. That's pretty bonkers, and it's gonna keep me real busy. And I'll be streaming on the night right before the iPhone event on September the 9th from an hour beforehand, and right after it again too. Links are in the description. Let's so go and set your reminders now and join me and potentially some guests to get hyped and break down what happens at the event. I'm thinking I might invite the Patreons to jump on and have a chat too, if they're up for it. So if you fancy that, head over to icavedave.com forward slash Patreon if that sounds good to you. And we will see you in the next one. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumours? Subscribe and ring the bell.